Hey everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. Big release today, we have our Gravity Forms add-on finally out. You can now display your Gravity Form entries on any poster page using the Conductor plugin. Uh, it's going to be an amazing tool to put into your Conductor toolkit. And we have an update to our display pack, which brings an enhanced table display, which we thought would go really great, number one, with Gravity Forms uh, and displaying those entries from your Gravity Forms forms, but also for content, custom post types, custom fields. You get a little searchable field. You can do pagination in this table, uh, sort by column. Really awesome stuff. Let's dive into the videos. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Gravity Forms add-on for Conductor and just give you a high-level view of what it supports. Uh, so out of the box, we're going to support most of the fields that Gravity Forms ships with that you can display along with the actual content of the form submission. So along with your form submission data, you can display the created by, the currency, the date created, entry form ID, form ID, IP address, and the list goes on. You can see this over at the Conductor add-ons page under the Gravity Forms section. And then the only requirements we have is Gravity Forms version 1.8, uh, Conductor Core, the plugin, and of course, Conductor Custom Fields add-on that allows you to search for or any given custom field within Gravity Forms. Displaying Gravity Forms data is going to work amazing with the display pack and the table view, uh, and we'll demonstrate that in an upcom upcoming video. So let's go ahead and dive into that right now. First, I'll show you the Gravity Form that we have set up. It's a super basic form. It just has four fields, the name field, the comment field, a website field, and a file field. And I'm going to show you how to display these fields with Conductor. In this example, I'm going to display the Gravity Form entries using the Query Builder. You can do this in a standard conductor widget if you want to. You don't need to use the Query Builder add-on, uh, but I like it for this example. So I'm just going to go ahead and label my query. I'm going to select from the Gravity Forms. I'm going to select which form I want to pull from. And in this case, I only have one. It's called Test. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to leave all the order by stuff uh, by default. And I'm going to hide all of the standard WordPress uh, metadata that I don't want to see. And then with the custom fields add-on enabled, you have the search field. I'm going to start typing in gravity, and you can see all of the gravity forms uh, information we can pull in. But I'm just, uh, I just want these fields from my form. And you can see here it says uh, the field ID. Uh, it's from the, it's, this is the file field, in fact. It's the type is a file upload. So I'm just going to start clicking and adding these in. And you also notice on the right hand side, as we're doing that, the information example is populating. So you kind of know what fields you're pulling in as well. So it's going to display in this order, comment field, file, uh, file field, name field, website field. But I don't want that order. I want to rearrange it. And it's very easy with conductor. We'll just sort of drag this stuff. Uh, let's see, I want name, website, comment, and then file. And in this example as well, we're going to use the new table display add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and check that off. I'm going to select on table. And I have a couple options that appear now with the new enhanced table display. And that's enabling display the table headings and an enhanced table display. So I'm going to enable both of those right now and just show you what that looks like. So as I publish this query, you'll see now I can grab my conductor shortcode and then add this into any page or post. Here we are on a Gravity page. I'm just calling it Gravity. I'm going to go ahead and paste in that short code that we created before. Hit Update. And then let's view the page. You can see here, here is our table display with the only two entries that we have uh, in our Gravity Forms uh, entries database. It's two, uh, it's two entries. It's Jane and Scott. There's no uh, website field filled out. They have some comments. Uh, one has a file. Uh, one has a file, one doesn't. And you can see that um, I can show multiple entries uh, if I had many, many entries here, um, and I can paginate these as well. I can also search for them. So if I wanted to search for just Jane, you can see as I do that, uh, it filters it right down to this Jane row that's there. But let's go ahead and insert another Gravity Forms entry. So I'm going to say Matt. I'm going to say this is my test. drop in a website. I'm not going to do a file. I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. That'll drop in my contact form. Let's go over to the Gravity page to see if it populated. And as you can see, that form entry went right here, uh, right in this row, Matt with the website, Matt report, and the comment, this is my test. No file field, of course, because I didn't upload that. If I wanted to filter uh, by search, I could do something like this, just type right in, and this would uh, just appear all uh, of the rows that have the search term Matt in them. I can do that. If we had, you know, tens or hundreds of uh, form entries, we could paginate through them by hitting next or 
are filtering them through the front end uh, it allows the, the user who's looking at this table to sort of filter this in the front end. Um, and you could set your query up in the back end, however you want. It's the Gravity Forms add-on over at conductorplugin.com. You can click on the add-ons page. Everybody gets this uh, in any plan that you pick, 99 up to the lifetime plan. Um, fun stuff. Uh, we are really excited for it. And the table display, um, enhancing it to this degree of filtering, na uh, navigation, and sorting is, uh, is a tremendous leap for the display pack as well. It's conductorplugin.com. We'll see you in the next video.